Today I'm reviewing a Verky Studio backpack. Now I've had this bag for over three years and for good reason. It's a well-crafted, well-designed, small compact bag. As you can see, I, I have it stuffed with some stuff just so you can see how much stuff is in there, how much you can fit. But let's start with the back because straps are very important and the whole back is important because that's what's in contact with you. That's what's going to determine how long you can keep it on your back for, how comfortable it is. Very easily adjustable straps, no complaints there, nice and strong. The straps are, are fairly wide, which is good for weight distribution and not too thick. I wish they were a little bit thicker, but it does have a nice perforated material on the back, which helps with airflow. Left strap does have a little stash pocket in it, so you can put some money in there, a driver's license if you want to keep something hidden. The other side has a little D-ring on it, which I, I usually just, I would clip my keys on when I'd be on my bike, just a place to clip it quick. So you could use that for whatever you wanted. It has a nice little trolley pass-through strap here so you can put it on your roller bag if you're in in uh, airport it also has a hidden stash pocket inside that trolley strap Let's see if i can show this to you uh maybe not it's too full of stuff right now but there is there's a hidden pocket right down there that you can put a uh, passport or hidden documents if you wanted to keep something secret from somebody Moving to the front of the bag, uh, you can see the entire bag is made out of this like nylon material. I don't know what grade it is, but it's very thick. Honestly, I've had this for three years and there is virtually no wear on the bag. As you can see, I have self-branded it Sofa because I've had it so long and I like it so much. I never want to get rid of it, so I stuck my name on it. Very front has a nice little pocket here, very deep. Almost goes down, ooh, penny, nice. Almost goes down to the bottom. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. I usually just put a pair of like headphones in there and some other random papers that I might need. The very front first pocket is very nice. The first thing you notice is it has a nice high contrast liner, which is awesome because you can see things very easily. It's easy to see in the dark and just overall has a cool aesthetic. I, I love orange, so orange and black was, it was it's a match made in heaven. Oh, what else we got here? We got, you know, just a standard set of pockets. You can actually fit quite a bit of stuff in this front pocket just because of all the little organization cubbies. You can put pens and business cards and flash flash drives and little, little puzzle books, and you can have a little place here for your keys. There's also a nice mesh pocket on the front so you can see exactly what's in that pocket. Also wanted to add the zippers on this bag are actually really, really nice. They're nice metal zippers, nice, uh, fairly large uh, zipper band on here, uh, very high quality. I've never had an issue with the zippers and they won't damage like your laptop or any other devices that you might want to put in there. Uh, what else we got on the outside? We got two water bottle holders, one on this side, one on this side. Uh, can't hold too large of a water bottle, but any like 24, 18, 18, 24 to 27 ounce water bottle will fit no problem on either side. So if you like to carry a lot of water with you, this is a great bag for that. Has a nice sturdy top handle with two rivets. Uh, no problems here. Strong, sturdy, what, can you, what, what, what more can you ask for really? The main compartment where all the, the money is, as you can see, I have quite a bit of stuff in here. I have two large mathematical textbooks, a notebook, a five-subject a five notebook. Look at all those books. I have my 14-inch ThinkPad T430 with extra battery, or extra large battery, the nine-cell. Nine so it has a nice, fairly large laptop pocket. It's, it has this like nice, smooth felt material on there, and uh, it won't scratch your laptop. You don't have to worry about that. You can fit a 14-inch laptop or a 15-inch MacBook Pro, which is nice. I wish they would make a larger version for like a 15.6-inch laptop in this exact same like style. I wish. I just, a rookie, please do that. Another nice thing is it has this little tablet. Uh, can you see that? Hold on. Hold on, bazooka style. Laptop goes here. It has this nice little laptop sleeve as well. And the nice thing is if you have like a 15 inch MacBook Pro and a 12 inch MacBook, you can fit both in the bag. Now I love backpacks where you can fit two laptops, nice and compact. I love that, it's so cool. Another cool thing about this laptop, which works out really nice for this for the Lenovo ThinkPad, it has these two little pockets. 
And I think they're made for laptop batteries because they fit these nine cell laptop batteries. Awesome. Now, most laptops don't have external batteries anymore, but if you do have a laptop, like an older Lenovo that can do that, perfect pockets for batteries. So I can hold three batteries, two in the pockets, one in the laptop, no problem. Very nice, spacious backpack. You can fit a lot of stuff in this bag. Uh, one thing, actually a couple things, now the downside. So positives, good build quality. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Well designed, awesome interior, good, good quality materials. But a few of the design issues that I have a problem with. A lot of the newer backpacks have, like a, I think Targus calls it a sling support system, something like that, where the, the laptop compartment doesn't go down to the bottom of the bag. So when you put your bag down, your laptop's not actually contacting with the ground. Well, this bag doesn't have that. It, it, it does sit on the bottom of the bag, but Averki does have their, uh, they call it, I think, their corner protection system. So they have a little bit harder foam in the corners of the laptop bag. So it, it'll help protect the laptop a little bit more. So it's decent. Other than that, I only have one complaint about this bag that is the reason why I moved on from it. I know no one likes to hear the, the bad drawbacks, but it has to do with the back here. There's not enough built-in airflow in this back. So if you're outside on a hot summer day, your back sweats very easily. Even when it's like 70 degrees outside, if it's sunny, your back sweats because there's there's no airflow pockets here. There's there's a little bit here, but this doesn't really do much. There isn't any like built-in channeling. So that's the one issue with this bag that I have is there's not enough airflow on the back. But if, if, if you're going to use this for taking to the office, just going to the coffee shop, uh, taking your backpack or your, your laptop and your textbooks uh, between classes if you're a student, this is an excellent bag. It runs for about $100 on Amazon, $100 to $120. Sometimes you can find it on sale for $79. So check the link in the description below if you'd like to purchase this bag. It's a really, really nice bag, and uh, I recommend it. This is one of my top recommended bags for anybody looking for a nice backpack. So like and subscribe, check back. To the channel i'm going to have a lot more reviews on all of these bags that i have behind me and we'll see you next time